Louis Wilson, you're a senior advisor with Global Witness, which just put out an analysis of the hundreds of fossil fuel lobbyists flooding COP26 climate talks. You found, quote, if the fossil fuel lobby were a country delegation at COP, it would be the largest, with 503 delegates, two dozen more than the largest country delegation. Your colleague, uh, I want to go to this clip, uh, uh, Dominique Kavakeb uh, with Global Witness, made this video as he documented the greenwashing events at COP26 that promote fossil fuels under the guise of renewable energy. I'm here at COP26 and I'm standing outside the European Union's pavilion. It's their official area where they host all of their side events. And this week they've got a number of events under the banner Energy Transition, which sounds fantastic until you realise they've handed the mic over to a whole bunch of fossil fuel companies and their lobbyists to organise some of these events. This includes an event on hydrogen hosted by the lobby group Hydrogen Europe, whose members include the likes of Shell, Total and Equinor. And they've been pushing the European Commission to allow hydrogen produced using dirty fossil electricity, the label of renewable. We've also got a whole load of other events run by gas companies like the GRT Gas in France, Italy SNAM, all with the aim of promoting their work and promoting the gas industry. So, Louis Wilson, can you lay out the findings from the global witness analysis of fossil fuel lobbyists flooding the COP26 climate talks that your colleague is describing? Absolutely. We released data today showing that, as you note, the largest delegation at COP26, billed as the last best chance to avert climate disaster, the largest delegation here is the fossil fuel lobby. And we analysed publicly available data from the UN, uh, UNFCCC, and we found that 503 delegates are here representing either fossil fuel companies, over 100 fossil fuel companies are represented here, or trade associations who are lobbying for fossil fuels. And that delegation is actually larger than the combined delegations of the eight worst affected countries uh, by the climate crisis, including uh, countries like the Philippines. We don't allow tobacco lobbyists into health conferences, so it begs the question why fossil fuel lobbyists are being allowed into the most important climate conference in a generation. So we only have 15 seconds, but Andrea, I want to give you the last word. What then gives you hope? I think that the future is a territory that we must defend. I said that the living alternatives, that the living solutions to the climate crisis already exist in indigenous communities that needs to be respected. I am also calling to the responsibility of the people around the world to stop consuming and exterminating indigenous territories and indigenous lands. We need to create solutions that are respectful with the life, with the planet, with ourselves, to think about a future where we do not need fossil fuels, but other green and renewable energies that are We have to leave it there, Andrea. Andrea, issue and Louis Wilson, thank you so much.